Hey guys, RC here. We're back uh, checking out a new game. I am thinking about doing a Let's Play on it. And you know, I only do a few games at a time, two or three at the most. Uh, so this would be something I would add into the queue. But Tom T, I believe, is the one that recommended this game to me. Uh, so went out and picked it up this morning. And uh, so we'll, we'll just kind of go through the early tutorial together. It's called Keeper RL. It's an early release game. Has been out for quite a while, it looks like. In fact, uh, let's go to the store. Keeper RL. Released uh, March of 2015. So there you go. Um, anyway, basically this is a cross between, at least the, again, the, I, I've just opened the game. I've just read the description of the game. And so it looks like along the lines of like a SimCity, Dwarf Fortress kind of put together. And there was an old game called Dungeon Keeper. I don't know if you remember that, where you actually uh, built the dungeon and then adventurers would come in and try to attack you. It's also got, that's the basic premise of the game. So you can play as the Dungeon Keeper, uh, or you can be an adventurer where you attack. And there's also a downloadable uh dungeons that are created by other players that you can download that they've uploaded and you can play as an adventure against them so you know anyway looks like some interesting stuff i don't know how well it'll translate over to video but i figured we'd at least look at the game together right so uh basic very basic graphics and you know that's i play dwarf fortress so pff, graphics to me aren't the be all end all so welcome to the Keeper RL tutorial. Uh, together we will work to build a small dungeon, assemble a military force. Near us lies a small village, mostly inhabited by innocents, which we will conquer. So if you are the dungeon keeper, you are evil. Uh, you will be uh, doing uh, devious experiments and uh, uh, mutations to creatures and whatnot. You will raid villages and kill people and uh, take their loot uh so eh, just fair warning not suitable for work maybe <laughs> all right so let's check out some things so the little wizard wearing the red robe right here that's you the keeper uh the keeper rl features permadeath which means you can't reload the game after a failure if your keeper dies then the game is over so be careful this is along the lines of Dwarf Fortress, where losing is fun, exclamation point. Uh, so that's interesting, permadeath. The four little creatures are your imps. Uh, they are here to perform your orders. Try hovering the mouse over other things. All right, so we've got a tree on a hill. We've got grass, a bush, soft rock. And unknown, it looks like. Notice the hints in the lower right-hand corner down here. So, yeah, we were looking at that. All right. Um, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit, guys. Just to be able to hear myself talk and so you might be able to hear me talk uh, if it's down too low let me know uh, we'll we'll finagle with that uh, usually I do turn music you know all the way down or off uh, but anyway all right great things come from small beginnings let's gather some wood select the dig tree dig or cut tree which looks like is the D key and let's go ahead and Cut those trees. All right. When you're done, click the mouse, right mouse button or press escape to clear the order. All right, we did that. Right mouse button. 
All right, continue. You'll need to store the wood somewhere. So storage, resources, and let's do a, a three by three and right click. All right, try scrolling the map using the arrow keys. Uh, arrow, oh, arrow keys, okay. It's the real arrow keys. Oh, look, we got some gold that we can see in the mountain. Iron, granite. All right. We've got a bridge down here. Some water. Some magic mushrooms. We all know what those do, right? We got more iron, granite. All right, so they've moved all the wood up here. All right, we've done that. Express space to pause and unpause. You can give orders while the game is paused. Press space to unpause, continue. All right, zoom in and zoom out using the Z key or the mouse wheel. All right, good deal. Cut some more trees until you have 200 wood. Does uh, We have 61. If you look down at the bottom right-hand corner here when I mouse over it, you can see the wood with the little 61 on it. All right, so let's go uh, dig or cut trees. All right, we'll get them to move all that up there. 61, 10, 92. So what's that? 61, 92 is 153. I wish they gave us a, uh, like a total. Oh, 180 right there, duh. All right, so let's dig a few more. Getting close. Boom. All right. Time to strike the earth. Ooh, that's right out of Dwarf Fortress. All right, so let's use our arrow keys. All right, dig. Okay, if you hold the shift key, it will you can drag to fill in the whole area there. And you can see as we're coming into an, a zone, we expose the surrounding area that was previously unknown to us. Uh, hold down shift to select a rectangle area. Nice, all right. All right, and we're here supervising as it should be for a evil leader. All right, continue. Build a door. This will slow down potential intruders. We're going to build it out of wood. Let's build it right there. Bam. All right. You can, unless you lock, try locking and, uh, oh, just left click and it locks. Right, left click again, unlocks it. Nice. The first room you need is a library. This is where the keeper and minions will learn spells and train their spell damage. Place six bookcases. All right. Did that not take? Hello? Uh, I guess I'm getting that little double click arrow, uh, that little double click from my mouse. All right, bookcases and other furniture block your minions' movement. So now when you come in, you'd have to walk around. All right, well, that's cool. Dig out some more rooms. If the library is blocking your tunnels, click remove construction. All right, so let's uh, dig. And we are going to go here.
I think we've got all that done. And I think we've got that too. Right. Change the game speed by using. Oh, look at that! Put it on four, and they are hauling butt. All right. So let's right-click, clear the orders. All right. I've reached spell training level one, and learned the spell directed blast. Nice. All right. So let's continue. Your dungeon has attracted an orc, so he will be a new minion. All right, hover your mouse over the immigrant icon. Where is that? There it is, right there. Snaglub the orc. 16 plus 5 damage, 14 defense. All right, you need one wooden training dummy and a basic bed. All right, so we need a uh, wooden dummy. Let's put that over here. Hello. Uh, left click. Now, hold on. Am I out of wood? No, I got 128 wood, right? All right, so V. All right, what's the deal here? Continue, continue. All right. R for training room. All right, what's the deal here? All right, let's see if we can build a door. All right, we're gonna put a door there and a door there. All right. Now, what kind of bed does he need? A basic bed. Why will he not? Let's pause here. All right, there it is. Now it shows up. All right, a basic bed. And a training dummy. All right, let's unpause it. They'll come in and build those. All right, pause it. All right. So now that we've built those, we click on that and an orc joins our forces. All right, click the question mark. So there is our question mark. All right, so welcome to the immigration system. The icons immediately to the left represent creatures that would like to join your dungeon. Left clicking accepts them, right clicking rejects them. Some creatures have requirements you need to fulfill before they can join. Above this text, you can examine all possible immigrants along with their full requirements. Click on the icons to set automatic rejection or acceptation. So we have an imp. So the cost doubles for every five imps. So this is a, a, a financial cost, I guess. You can see it costs 30 gold uh, for an imp. And the first four imps are free, which we have. If we get a fifth, it costs 30 gold. Uh, so we have the orc, we have goblins, and we have prisoners. Yes. All right. So we're good there. All right. Continue. We need to make sure your minions have good working conditions. Place some torches in the room. 
to light them up. Hover your mouse over the bookshelves and training dummies and look in the lower right corner. Insufficient light. All right, so uh, let's do a standing torch. And we will put that right there. All right, so if we mouse over, now it does not say insufficient light. But here you can see we have insufficient light. So let's build, let's build, yeah. oh, and we don't have resources. So let's, uh, let's go outside, right? There's our orc, nice. And we're going to hit D for dig or cut trees. And let's go ahead and... Boom, we'll cut all that down because that's how we roll. And you know what? I think I would like to put another door right here just to have a second door in here, right? And then we'll go installations, torch, right there. Oh, he's in here practicing. Nice. And now if we mouse over, you can see those do not have insufficient light. Good. So we'll continue. More efficient if there's a nice floor where they are working. For now, all right, so our keeper has now reached spell training two and the spell of escape. Nice. All right, so a nice floor. You can only afford wooden floors. Well, we have 79. They're still working down here, right? That's all right. So we're going to put floors. And we'll put down the wooden floors there. All right, let's speed it up a little bit. There they go. Building in the floors. Nice. All right, Orc reaches melee training level one. All right, back down and pause it. All right, minions, all right. So we've done that. Oh, and I guess we need a floor on that side too, yeah? So we, you see this floor has this pattern. So let's choose the other floor. They both take two. And let's shift. All right. And speed that up. All right. We're now level three and have learned magic missiles. Oh, and I'm in training on that too. All right. Time out. Back down to slow. Pause. All right. Your minions will need equipment such as weapons, armor, and consumables to be more deadly. Build at least two workshop stands. Well, we've got a dedicated room up here, so we can put it in there for right now. But you know what? I think I might like to dig that out. So let's dig that out. All right, and then we're gonna put in uh, a door. While they're working on that. And let's build another room with floors in there and we're going to go out and cut down some more trees I can see getting really tired of that uh, okay they just finished that floor all right, let's build another floor. Let's build, uh, 
let's build that one. Now, what we need to do is build two workshop stands, right? All right, so one, two. And storage area. I can't really see in there, right? So let's put uh, let's put a standing torch right in the middle there. And it looks like I am getting that double click bug. And it's not a bug; it's just my mouse is wearing out, right? And installations, another standing torch there. Awesome. So let's pause it now. All right, he's sleeping in the bed. That's cool. All right, so we have our two workbenches. And then we also needed storage, right? Um, okay, so the blue is there. All right, so I think we've got everything we need. We're running right at 60 FPS, so that's good. 21 minutes in. I don't know. I mean, so, you know, it's basically a building game at this point, and I can see that we're going to expand at some point, yes? But this is the tutorial. This is the basics. All right, weapons are the most important piece of equipment because being unarmed, your minions have little chance against an enemy. Open the workshop shop menu by clicking on any of your stands. All right. And schedule the production of a club. All right. So then we'll escape from there. Hit continue. All right, order your orc to pick up crafting. Click him and drag him to a workshop stand. You can check, okay, if we click on, the, on that, then it's in production. Oh, and you can see the little bar filling in. There you go. And a club will give us plus four damage. Nice. All right, so there we go with the building. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to... I'm going to build me a basic bed of my own right there. That way me and the orc can sleep, right? Now I'm going to want my own room at some point. All right, let's pause it. All right, the club is almost done. Boom. All right, pause. All right, continue. Your minions will automatically pick up weapons and other equipment from the storage. Click on your orc and on his weapon slot. There's my orc and his weapon slot and assign him the club that was just produced. Awesome. So he should go and equip that now. All right, so let's go back, check the orc. Hello, equipment. All right, so he's got that and he's sleeping. So he's come to the bed. All right, we're paused. Um, all right, we did that. Is that it? All right, continue. All right, he's sleeping. Let's let him sleep. Oh, wait a minute. There's the club right there. It's on the floor. It's in a stockpile, though. All right. It's not equipped yet. Okay, so he's sleeping. So when he wakes up, he should go get that. Maybe. Let's check. 
And you can see looking at his, uh, his bar, his window, you've got health, morale, basic bed, floors. Oh, wait. Oh, I think he's got it. Let's see. Oh, and now it's green, so it is equipped. Sweet. All right, so continue. All right, you are ready to grow your military force. Three more orc immigrants can do, should do. You can also invite goblins, which don't fight, but are excellent craftsmen. All right, so do we have anybody down here? Well, we've got imps, nobody else. Um, I believe... Let's go ahead and just to start here. And then I want We're going to do that. Oh. All right, so they'll start digging out. We're going to put a door there. All righty. I think what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do another club, leather armor, and a leather helm, and a pair of leather boots. Now, some of these you have to, you can do with wood. Some of them, I don't know if you just get. There's no resource or you can buy. All right, so he's working on the, uh, he's working on the tools now. Good. And I think... Uh, training... Go ahead and put another training dummy in there. And installations. All right. That should light it up out here. We've picked up a little bit of rock. All right, wait, we got a speed bonus. Infinite carrying capacity. All right, cool. Well, we're at about 30 minutes, guys. So, you know, this is just kind of the an introduction to the game. Let's see if we can... Uh, yeah, there's really nothing else. So, let's see. Pause. So, we know we're going to need orcs, yes? So, let's go to floors. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll go to there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and do both of these rooms here. And then we're going to want... We'll put beds in there, right? Okay, here we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead and accept him. Let's go ahead and bring a guy. Uh, requires one more basic bed. All right. Are we out of wood? Oh, we are out of wood. Hello. All right. So let's come up here. All right, so they're going to start. Oh, we didn't want to do that. Hold on. Uh, D. How do I cancel that? Um,
Yeah. And I think a lot of the issues I'm having here, guys, are issues with my mouse. So I don't want to dig the wall here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Finish the wood. Okay. And it looks like the uh, torch does burn out. Because I had put one right there, did I not? All right. So let's pause it. I need a uh, training. I'll tell you what, let's put. Um, Let's put those there. All right. And let's go ahead and grab the orc and the goblin. And your minions have discovered the location of humans. All right, let's pause it. Yeah, I don't want to go too long, but, you know, this is just checking the game out, right? So we're just doing the basics, which, you know, so we've pretty much seen them. So my minion is, my guy is level one. We have six out of ten people. Uh, it's turn 3963 on day 537. Okay. I don't know if that's full days. All right, you're ready to grow your military force. We are, okay, we did that. Boom. Craft clubs for all your orcs and the keeper and have them equipped. All right, so let's do let's do four clubs and let's do all right uh, you orcs. All right, you've got a club. You do not. So let's add a club for you. And you, let's add a club. And you, let's add a club. All right. Now, snag love, armor plus three. The keeper, I'm going to, oh, he's got the robe already. Um, I'm going to add, ask him to get a club. All right, back to the orcs. All right. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Okay. Keeper. Feet. Boots. Nice. All right, what is that? A leather helm. All right, my orc, let's do snag lub. A plus one helm. All right. All right, there's another club, so let's click on our orcs. All right, he's, he's got a club. All right, so this shows we've got, I can scroll up and down. All right, so there is three clubs. These two are already assigned, so we're going to assign you a club. So, so he should come grab that right there. Boom, he just did. All right, let's double check these guys. All right, he's got a club. He's got a club. He's got a club. All right, and we've got a fourth club. Bam. All right, and there's our fifth club, so we want to assign that to our keeper. So here he comes. He should grab that one. Nice. All right, let's check what's going on. All right, we're building one extra club, which is fine. All right, so everybody has that. Your tiny army is ready. Assemble a team by dragging your orcs. 
on to the new team button. All right, so let's go to the minion. All right. Uh, oh, new team. All right, so Snaglub, Urshamel, Lorzuck, Gorag. Awesome. Continue. All right, click on that. All right, Snaglub as the leader. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Shoot. Hold on. Orcs. Snaglub and Ujmil. All right. There he is. All right, hold on. All right, so let's exit control mode. All right, go to the team. Oh, that's to delete them. Choose a minion to command the team. How do I do that? Okay, control a chosen minion. All right, there we go. All right, okay, there we go. All right, click control. All right, we've done that. Now it's turn-based. So try moving around using the arrow keys or left-clicking the map. So let's head over to this room. All right. Oh, and you know what? I just realized they freaking dug a hole through my, uh, through my mountain. I screwed up. All right, well, good thing this is uh, just a sample, all right? So, all right, so we're good there. Click on the control mode button or press G. Okay, so control mode full, control mode leader, all right? So we can move him there, him there. All right, you. Time to just Well, I tell you what, I've gone 38 minutes. So anyway, just out of curiosity, what do you guys think of the game? Uh, I'm going to play around with the tutorial a little bit more and, uh, you know, see what I think about it. But you guys let me know what you think about it in the comments. Uh, also, if you do like the game, hit the like button. And, uh, you know, that's how I can judge how you feel about it. If that's something you would like to see down the road as a game I add into my mix for a, uh, a Let's Play series. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.